Hi, beautiful beings. My name is Mosaka Dewe, and thank you so much for tuning into my video. If you are returning Sabine Gabongakakulu, and if you are new, I don't believe in coincidences. I definitely don't. Neither should you. <laughs> so please be sure to click on the subscribe button and the bell notification icon right over here so that you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. Right, because I value your time, time is of the essence, let's get right into the video. You want to smell good and make your vagina happy and you want to taste good down south. So I've prepared a list of foods that you can eat and that things that you can actually include in your diet um, on the daily, to be honest. And you will definitely be tasting good down there. Mm -hmm. thank you. right so um as we all know or well, we should all know that a vagina is a mucousy surface right so hydration is a definite must so what happens is everything that you eat translates in your body you sweat it you can even taste it down there typical example um I know a lot of people don't eat iacha because of what it does. So it comes through your sweat. You can actually smell it through your sweat, your armpits. And if you don't drink enough water or you try urinating a couple of hours after ingesting iacha, most definitely the entire bathroom is going to be smelling of iacha. So water has the ability to neutralize body odor. So it just makes sure, water makes sure that you stay within range of your natural body odor. So hydration is a definite must if you are going to be eating um, foods that are really, really spicy or foods that have like a potent smell. Hydrate. If you're not drinking two to three liters of water a day, babes, why are you sabotaging yourself? So making it at the top of my list are definitely leafy greens and i'll tell you why so leafy greens are packed with vitamins a and k1 they are awesome for blood purification they are great for stimulation down there and they also help strengthen your muscles down there so yeah eat your leafy greens your leafy greens are your swiss chard baby spinach rainbow chard kale and what else am i forgetting i think asparagus right yes so what i usually um do with my swiss chard if i'm lazy to saute it and because i'm not really big on breakfast so i take like a chunk like a handful of chopped spinach and i blend it into a smoothie and i drink it up if you follow me on instagram you'll notice that 99.99 percent of my smoothies have swiss chard in them um i started eating spinach it became one of my favorite vegetables because i had an iron deficiency so just to balance that i started incorporating spinach and swiss chard into my my diet a couple of times a week and so far so good so yeah eat your spinach you can add it into your omelet add your mushrooms there are tons and tons of recipes so that you don't taste them um you don't taste the spinach itself i mean you can mask it with a whole lot of different flavors like ed herbs and all that jazz just jazz it up man prepare it to your own life if you're looking for something that's natural that can boost your libido then avocado it is right so avocados are packed with healthy fats they have vitamin b6 not only does it boost your libido but it also strengthens your virginal walls so yeah i know that a lot of people have a love-hate relationship with avocados but you can also jazz it up Honestly, I know of a couple of people that actually put avocados in their smoothie. It makes it creamy. Um, there's also avocado ice cream, just so you know. <laughs> there's also avocado ice cream. Um, so how I would have my Evo is 
I prefer it in a salad. Honestly, I used to enjoy it on toast, but then not so much anymore. Um, so yeah, green salad, some feta, uh, my own dressing. Oh, just thinking about it. If you are a lady that suffers from bacterial virginosis or reoccurring yeast infections, then you definitely need probiotics. What are probiotics, Mosha? <laughs> Probiotics are microorganisms that are found in fermented foods. This will restore a balance, I promise you. So they are found in fermented foods such as pickles, kombucha, traditional buttermilk, cheese, as well as tempeh, right, and different kinds of soybeans. Yes, so um, probiotics will have your BV or your yeast infections sorted out. What this does is not only is it beneficial for your vagina's pH, but it's amazing for your digestive system. Because if your digestive system isn't happy, best believe that your vagina won't be happy. And that's on period, honey. So yeah, probiotics, you can find them in encapsulated form or you can ingest the list of foods that I have provided you with. You can get probiotics at Clicks and Discam or any of the pharmacies that you shop at. Honestly, they should have probiotics. So yeah, away with the B. Vitamin C. Vitamin C is an amazing vitamin. Not only does it boost your immune system and make you healthier, but it's great for your virginal pH as well. So if your person is suffering from bacterial virginosis, again, vitamin C will definitely fight for you, right? So vitamin C lowers risks of infection because of the high levels of ascorbic acid, right? So yes, ascorbic acid doesn't temper with your virginal pH. So foods that have vitamin C, your oranges, nachis, lemons, limes, grapefruit, clementine. Could go on and on about foods that have vitamin C, but that's not the point. So yeah, eat up. Um, did you guys also know that vitamin C is great just to kickstart your liver? It's very, very beneficial. So that's the reason why people drink a squeeze of lemon and warm water in the morning just sweet potatoes my beauts are amazing if i may say so myself they do so many things right they can enhance your fertility they are great for fetal development they are packed with vitamins b c and selenium they are great for your uterine walls i think some people might come at me but they taste better than your traditional potato but then yeah that's just me right um they taste better they are high in fiber so this is great for your digestive system and if something is great for your digestive system best believe that it will be great for your lady parts as well and did you know that sweet potatoes also help us produce this hormone this hormone that helps us stay energetic Yes, the omega-3 fatty acids are very beneficial. Um, if you're a person that's suffering from endometriosis, if you have stagnant blood or your period blood is um, a dark purple to a black, then those are often symptoms that are associated with... Um, that kind of blood can actually be associated with endometriosis, right? So you need omega-3 fatty acids in your body. So omega-3 fatty acids can be found in fish such as salmon and flax seed. So what omega-3 fatty acids do is they help with the flow of blood and they can also prevent endometriosis. So yeah. I take my omega-3 fatty acids in encapsulated form. Um, yeah, there's actually a variety on the market. So be on the lookout. Again, clicks or discam or any other 
online pharmacy i know of a few i'll put it in the link i'll put the link in the description box down below where you can find your supplements foods that regulate your menstrual cycle are your almonds and your pumpkin seeds right um these two foods are high in zinc not only will they regulate your menstrual cycle but they will combat um, the dryness and itchiness that comes with yeast infections or PV, right? So pumpkin seeds, um, yes, you can buy um, almonds at any store, right? <laughs> at any um, supermarket, yes. And how I have my pumpkin seeds is I have like seeds from squash, or, or pumpkin or butternut so i'll just scoop them out get rid of the viney part of it and dry them sprinkle some cinnamon and a little bit of butter or margarine put them in the oven and roast them that's how i enjoy my pumpkin seeds making it last but not least on the list are berries right so berries are high in antioxidants they also have anti-inflammatory properties they're phytonutrient right this makes this component makes it great for both males and females think semen for men right your semen will taste good and your juices as a woman as well will also taste good so yeah examples of berries are blueberries strawberries of course um raspberries blueberries strawberries raspberries mulberries and yeah i'm not really a berry fan so yeah oh yes cranberry cranberries are great for utis ah yes cranberries as well um so yeah so what i usually do with my berries is i wash them and i freeze them before i add them to my smoothie just so that my smoothie has character or alternatively you can just put them in a fruit salad um with your yogurt and that's a probiotic and yeah eat up for breakfast or as a snack whatever it is that tickles your fancy so yes that's how i consume my berries we have come to the end of today's video thank you so much for watching all the way till the end i really do appreciate it i will leave my previous video i'll leave the link up here um i'm talking about virginal steaming and all the benefits it does to your lady parts right and the one before that i'm talking about the bloating and in everything else um that you need to know when it comes to bloating yes so that's all that i have for today thank you so much once again until we meet in my next video please remember to heal yourself is to love yourself